Hi there, Billbox released another update 3.2.3 and with this update they also added a new free game template and it's a clone of a popular game Subway Surf. And in this video we're gonna take a look at that template and make some improvements. The last free template that Billbox released was over three months ago. They did have three more templates in that month. One was for users that upgraded to Pro and another one was for referring a friend to Billbox and the third one was for purchase. And finally, we got another free template. So let's try it out and let's click play and see how the game is. So we get instructions for swiping side to side or up or down. Now let's click play. This game is hard to play with a mouse, so let's go to a player and quickly add keyboard support. So for keyboard, let's pull up our keyboard button. We'll need four keys, and for the first one we'll use W for up, S for down, A for left, and D for right. Now there's a lot of different connections that is going out of this swipe, and to not make a mess, you can use the new signal pass-through node that they have, and all it does, it just passes through the signal. So you can use it to keep your connections cleaner. So how would you use it? Connect it there, and then inside here, we can connect both of this. You can do that for rest, but since we're not gonna be trying to swipe, let's just move the connections over to our keyboard buttons. So with this, now we can use the keyboard to move character around. Now let's try playing it. And you can see that it's easier to play. So in this template, we can collect coins, jump on the buildings, jump over enemies, and then there's some power-ups that we can use. And then we can slide underneath at barriers. I think the movement for the character is a bit too fast when it swipes to the side. But there's a problem with this template if you switch the timing. And let's take a look at that. To increase the time of transition, we can go to the asset. And there's move left and move right nodes. And those are position animation nodes. And you can increase the duration to something like 0.25. And now you can click play. And you can see that the movement is slower now and feels more natural. But there's a problem with this change. And the problem is if you try changing lanes twice in a row, it sometimes drops the second lane move. And it's due to the fact that the position animation blocks the input signal to trigger another animation. So with this duration that we set, a quarter of a second, if we get a signal within a quarter of a second, then the move left will be ignored. There is a way you can fix that, but we're not gonna do that in this video. Also, another problem with this template is when you get on the side, the character goes off screen. And you can fix that by changing the angle of the camera. So in our camera rotation, instead of looking down, we can rotate the camera to something like 30 degrees instead of 50, and then change the position of Z to something like 12. And those changes are gonna look better in the game, in my opinion. So now you can see that the character is not jumping out of the window you can see the bigger picture of the game. And the character is not too big. Also, I think the fog is a little bit too close. So you can change the fog by going to mind map and selecting the 3D world. And for fog, instead of starting at 2000, we'll start it at 3000 and end it at 3500. But we'll also need to change the next scene threshold to be 3500. So let's change that. Now you can see the scene a little bit further, but the game also loses some performance because of that. And to see how much frames per second we're getting this game, let's go and add our FPS asset. It looks like it's keeping it up there, close to 60, so that's good. It does drop to 56 sometimes. That's probably why we can see some of that lag in the game like it's not moving smooth or something. But this is the free new template that we got from Billbox. And I know a lot of you guys wanted a Subway Surfer template. So we finally got that in Billbox. You can use this base to tweak it, change the art, add some more obstacles and make it your own. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and we will see you in the next one.